the recognized symbol of excellence for your entertainment. Welcome to Machino Music Music, the show that puts the music in Machino Music, with your host, me, Brett Strong. Today on Machino Music Music, it's Devo Album Ranking. Now it can be told. The truth about de-evolution. We're all Devo. Good afternoon, everybody. Devo album ranking. That's what we're doing here. Devo, one of my all-time favorite bands. Got a little bit of a setup here. I have a Devo shirt somewhere. It's just hell if I could find it. So, I'm not wearing a Devo shirt. But I got the Energy Dome here. A few other things. Now, these are just studio albums, because as much as I would love to include the Hardcore albums, Volume 1 and 2, so I have them displayed here, in front of the Recombo DNA book, uh, those are great out sort of early versions of songs, a few that were never actually officially released on the studio album, so just the studio albums here. Also, I'm, I just have to say that my favorite live album ever is this one right here. Again, just studio albums. This is my favorite live album ever. Now it can be told. Devo, Live at the Palace. I just love this. Great versions of this song, including a ballad version of Jocko Homo, which is just fantastic. So, yeah, this is my favorite live album ever. Just had to mention it. So here we go with Devo Album Rank. All right, coming in at the bottom... Not really an official album, but I thought I'd include it anyway. This is a sort of a side project. This is the Wipeouters Patwang. This is like a like a surf album that they did, just under this different name. But it's so obvious it's Devo, because there's Mark Mothersbaugh wearing the Energy Dome. So you see this in the record store, and you go, this looks like a Devo album, but it doesn't say Devo. So, I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's just sort of fun, just uh, Devo-style surf tunes. Uh, Shut Up Little Man. Danger Dog. I mean, just fun. Yeah. From 2006. Next, I'm going to go from 2010, their most recent album to date. Something for everybody. It's a big deal when it came out. I mean, it's kind of going, got a bit of the classic Devo sound, but, you know, it's, it's you know, just modern technology. It doesn't sound bad. There's some great tunes on here. Human Rocket I really like. Fresh, the opening track. What We Do, that's a cool tune. That was kind of, that was sort of the single. You got Don't Shoot, I'm a Man, which actually cashing in on the, I believe at the time it was a George W. Bush speech where that guy got tasered, that like surfer dude kind of got say, tasered, and he said, don't tase me, bro. They say that in the chorus, so kind of cashing in on that, just kind of making fun of that, as Devo did, satirizing that kind of thing. Yeah, and they look very different here, the, the, using the blue energy domes that they're doing at this time, and they got these gray masks on. And of course, Mark always wearing his glasses over every mask he puts on. Hilarious. Devo knew exactly what they were doing. Look ridiculous, but it's kind of to show we're all ridiculous. But yeah, this is not a bad album. You know, it's been better. Next, I'm going to go with Total Devo. Some people might say this is one of their worst albums. I mean, it is, I mean, it's not great, but it does have a few songs that just elevates it a little bit for me. Uh, Baby Doll, I really like the opening track. Disco Dancer's okay. The Shadow, I don't mind. Blow Up is cool. Uh, this came out around the same time that Mark was scoring the movie. 
Revenge of the Nerds 2, Nerds in Paradise, and Blow Up actually appears on that soundtrack, but it's not listed in the credits of the movie. But my favorite song on here, and this is why it puts it up just a little bit higher, is their cover of the Elvis Presley classic, Don't Be Cruel. Such a fun version of that song. So cool. You got Jerry doing his best Elvis. And it's just so weird and just kind of like they do with a lot of their covers. And we'll get into some more of those cover tunes a bit later in this ranking. But let's say do with a lot of their cover tunes. They kind of just kind of deconstruct these songs. Just kind of make them their own thing. Where you kind of, I mean, other than the lyrics, you kind of wouldn't know it's that song. And that was so cool about what Devo did with their cover tunes. Uh, this one's a bit closer to the original Don't Be Cruel, but still, it's weird. It's totally Devo, and I love it. Uh, this is the first album that had uh, David Kendrick on drums. Uh, Alan Meyer had left the group to become an electrician. You know, a guy comes to fix your cable. Oh, you're the guy from Devo. But yeah. So they had a different drummer. Uh, Josh Freeze, who's now playing with the uh, Foo Fighters. That was a big spit I just did right there. Uh, he's now He played with Devo. He played on uh, something for everybody. Next I'm going to go Smooth Noodle Maps. One of the great album titles of all time. This is kind of a different one, a difficult one to rank. Like, I'm not sure, like... It's, it's got some good tunes on it, so it had to kind of go where it was. Uh, Stuck in a Loop, good intro. Post Post Modern Man, such a fun tune. The Big Picture, I don't mind. Pink Jazz Trancers, just a weird song, but I love it. The song Jimmy is interesting. Starts with, uh, I believe it's Mark and Jerry talking about this guy, Jimmy. So, you know, he wasn't a nice guy. And I kind of feel sorry for him, but you don't know the whole story. And then and it says, Jimmy's in a wheelchair and I don't care. So this Jimmy must have been a monster son of a bitch, as the song portrays him. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's a pretty fun tune. Devo has feelings too. Doghouse. Yeah, not bad. Kind of a difficult one to rank because I don't really know... But I just love the, I love the title. Smooth Noodle Maps. All right, next I'm going to go the debut. Might be a little controversial. This might uh, be at the top, a lot of people's Devo rankings. Um, but yeah, I don't, this one, it's a start. Like, they're not quite Devo yet. But, I mean, probably their most punk album. Sometimes they call Devo a punk band. They're not really. They kind of were the quintessential new wave band. But this is probably their most punk album. Uncontrollable Urge, classic. Of course, their cover of I Can't Get No Satisfaction. Now talk about deconstructing a song. They completely took that song and made it into something totally its own thing. And just a great cover. Love that. Praying Hands, which they did as their side project, their opening act. They played their own opening act. The band of love, Dove. You got your right hand. You got your left hand. Space Junk I like. Mongoloid. Jocko Homo, of course. Yeah, I mean, this is like... Comeback Johnny is considered like, probably one of the hits from this as well. That's a cool tune. But yeah, I mean, it's just... It's a start. It's kind of not quite Devo, but, I mean, there's really no other debut album like this. One of, the, one of the greatest debut albums ever. Of course, you got Chichi Rodriguez, who was a famous golfer at the time, on the cover here. They tried to make it not look like him because there was a lawsuit. All right, next I'm going to go Shout. This is a pretty fun album. It has on here, this is why it goes up a little higher for me. It has, I think, my favorite Devo song ever, Don't Rescue Me. I absolutely love that tune. So cool. 
just it's got just the, the cool synthesizers on it i mean the vocals cool got like echo effects ah, i just love the tune great also has Puppet Boy, another one of my favorite Devo songs. Really like that one. Just a fun, goofy tune. <laughs> There's a lot of deeper meaning to Devo songs. They're not just all goofy and, you know, kind of like a bit like Blondie. There's a lot of shows on Blondie where there's like a deeper meaning underneath these kind of silly sounding songs. But Devo mainly got a lot of deeper meanings, as we'll get into on a few more of these. Shout, the title track, great. Could be a great superhero theme. Love it. The Fourth Dimension I like. It does a little bit of a, if you would call it a sample, because they actually play it. A uh, bit of Day Tripper by the Beatles. So that's really cool. With the guitar riff from Day Tripper. Here to Go. Yeah. Not bad. And this also has the... Uh, it also has a cover of the Jimi Hendrix tune, Are You Experienced? It's pretty cool. Not one of the best Devo covers, but it's not bad. But yeah, mainly just Don't Rescue Me and a couple of other tunes I mentioned. Put this one up a little bit higher. Next, I'm going with Freedom of Choice. Probably the most popular Devo album next to the debut. This might top a lot of people's lists. I really like this album. Got some great tunes on it. Girl You Want. Snowball I always really liked. I played that on my Christmas episodes when I would do uh, Christmas specials when I was doing my old radio show. I used to play Snowball. Kind of works as a Christmas tune. You know, mention snow. Whip It, of course, the huge hit off of here. It's not too late to whip it, whip it good. I think with Devo, people think about that one song, but they have so many other great tunes. And just a much better band than that one song, which people don't even realize is satirical. Same with the song Freedom of Choice, the title track. People don't realize that that song is actually really satirical. It's not actually even saying to have freedom of choice. Like, people think of that song kind of as this political statement. Like, freedom of choice. It's actually making fun of the fact that people kind of want to be told what to choose. Like, you want freedom of choice, but you actually don't. And that's what that song's making fun of. And that's what's so great about Devo, is they're just like, it's de-evolution. Which is pretty much what we're in now. Devo predicted the future and pretty much started with this album. But yeah, this one's pretty good. Got some good tunes on it. That's Pep I like. Gates of Steel. But yeah, I mean, this, these are hard to rank. I mean, really, there's not a bad Devo album. But, you know, you got to rank them somehow. But that's where I'm putting Freedom of Choice. Of course, the iconic. This is where they have the energy domes. <clears throat> okay, next I'm going from 1981. The follow-up to Freedom of Choice. Uh, New Traditionalists. Some great tunes on here. I really like this album. Through Being Cool. Just on a little weird tune. But again, it's very satirical. I mean, Devo saying they're through being cool. They're like the most mega nerds you're ever going to see. So no and a weird video, but it's so great and so Devo. Jerking Back and Forth. Really like that tune. One of my favorite Devo songs on here, Pity You. Absolutely love that tune. Yeah, great. Really fun tune. Going Under, Race of Doom is great. Beautiful World, another one. Been used in commercials. Like car commercials and like douche commercials and stuff. Like, it's a beautiful world we live in. No, it's about like, like 
basically nuclear war and all the horrible, horrible things that are in the world, people, it's, and that's what they, why they give these songs to advertising is because they realize just people don't get it. And they, it's hilarious. So, yeah, let people misuse our songs in advertising. Great. Love Beautiful World for that reason. Of course, their cover of Working in a Coal Mine. Good version on that tune. The bonus track on here, Mecha Mania Boy. Love that song. Should have been on the album proper, but we got it as a bonus track. That's a really fun tune. Yeah. But really for just those few songs, I think this one kind of goes up. This version is signed. You see that? It says Mark Devo. Looks like it says. But yeah. Ordered this, and then, like from there, the Medivo fan club, back when you used to be able to do that, you send away for stuff, and it says for promotional use only, and it's signed. So they just grabbed this and got a signed copy of New Traditionalists. So cool, didn't even ask for it. We're in the top two, everybody. Okay. Next I'm going, oh no, it's Devo. This sometimes could be my favorite Devo album. I mean, this is just almost a perfect album. It's so much fun. It's just, I just love this. I mean, it's the most, their most new wave, their most synthesizer, just, and just this album cover. I mean, you see this. I mean, who was doing this stuff? They're all potatoes with these, like, discs around their necks and Mark with these weird sunglasses are actually politically incorrect so I'm not going to say what they're politically incorrect for because I might get in trouble but uh, anyway yeah I mean, it just who's doing this stuff but yeah so many great tunes time out for fun peekaboo which was kind of sort of a hit out of sync Explosions, I love. That's Good was kind of a hit. You kind of hear that a bit. Patterns. Big Mess, one of my favorite Devo tunes. Love that one. Speed Racer, one of my favorite Devo songs. Really funny, really just weird song. And not actually really about Speed Racer. Just all these different characters. And uh, sort of their traits and kind of messed up problems, I guess. Yeah. This is such a really, really good album. But what is my number one? I gotta go with Duty Now for the Future. The second album, 1979. They're still figuring it out, but I think they really kind of nailed it on this album. I mean, this really was the statement album. I think even more so than Are We Not Men, We Are Devo. Because this has, I mean, this starts with the Devo corporate anthem. Just an instrumental, which is like so heroic. And it's just like, yeah, really announcing We Are Devo. And then you get the kind of punk, but also not kind of start going in their more new wave direction. The song Clock Out, really cool song, love Clock Out. Get the amazing instrumental timing X, love that one. Blockhead I love. The Day My Baby Gave Me a Surprise, which was, you know, was one of my favorite Devo songs. Really cool song. Their cover of Secret Agent Man, which again, they just sort of take and make into their its own thing. I mean, it's not even really even close to the Johnny Rivers version. Of course, Smart Patrol, Mr. DNA, kind of another signature Devo song, which I had no idea. It went over my head when I first started listening to Devo. Uh, I was very naive. I started listening to Devo probably when I was about 11. And yeah, I, I, I remember, like, I had no idea until years later the song's just about, like, reproducing. We shove the poles in the holes. Mr. Prophylactic. References to potatoes and tomatoes. Probably both mean penis and vagina. Airplane. Over the head. No idea. Yeah. 
This is great. This is my favorite Duo album. Just love this album. So, so there you go. That's how I rank the Devo catalog. Absolutely love Devo. Now it can be told the truth about D Evolution right here in terms of how I like these albums. So if you're a fan, if you're Devo, I hope you enjoyed this. That's it for this week. Until we meet again, this is Brett Strong saying good journey.